Good morning. Good afternoon. Well, it was morning when we recorded this video. Today we uh, drive from uh, Nordell Way to uh, Mission. Have some audio issues, so sorry about that. The first 15 minutes have some audio issues. But other than that, should be good. Nice driving, new highways, highway number seven. Haven't done that too often. Here's a message from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Sefco Transportation. Now hiring a Super B wood chip, Super B flat deck, plus one drivers in BC's lower range, mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. You see that truck just parked there. No parking. How am I supposed to get out of this yard? Okay, anyway. To apply, go to setco.ca, use promo code, one fan, let them know I sent you, get paid an extra hundred bucks. What are you laughing about? No, oh, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's just a Pringles can. It's okay. Yeah, make sure you guys use my name, Juan Rempel, as a reference when you apply for the job. And any referral bonuses I get, I will split with you guys. No parking, they're running to get their Timmy's. Just jump over the curb. It's not too bad, not too bad. It could have been worse. Just a little bit of running over grass. I've already hit something today, so why not hit some more stuff today? Why not? Good morning. Morning. <laughs> it's actually still morning, isn't it? You had to say it. Oh. It is 11:43, so just loaded here, Nordell Way. All oh, right, these intersections are all changed. Now we're headed to Mission, BC grab our second half of the load. That truck's coming fast, so we'll just wait. I hope we got a green light for us anyway. But for the back intersection, so we're good, we're good. Hammer down. city driving all that often. I mean, we don't record city driving all that often. Well, we don't even do city driving all that often. But today will be a city driving type of day. What speed are you going, Container? Are you paid by the hour or uh, are you doing speed limit? I didn't quite make it and I uh, I just uh, 
hit some of the rolls on the side and bent the mud flap bracket on the trailer. So the mud flap bracket on the rear is now bent. And I'll be completely honest, Sutko, if you're listening, I didn't like what happened. I always say all the good things about Sutco. Sutco is a sponsor, to be clear. Sutco sponsors me. But I will also say bad things when they happen. And today, I was a little bit annoyed by what happened. I uh, I, I made that little bend to the mud flap bracket. Eh, I'm not gonna pass them. I'm not gonna pass them. I'm just keeping up enough. But... So I made a report about it. And somebody that's new on the safety uh, team called while I was outside strapping down. Just answered. And they asked repeatedly to talk to me. And Justice goes, no, he's outside loading. A lot of these places, we're not even allowed to have a cell phone on site, period. We're not allowed. That's not allowed to be out. Why are you demanding to talk to a driver while he's loading? may be breaking safety rules of that customer. So I didn't like that. And then they want all these extra pictures. I'm like, it's it's a bent mud flap. What pictures can I take of it? How many pictures do you want of it? It's like, it's not a big deal. It's a minor incident. It's a bent mud flap bracket. That's it. The stuff I hit, I got the forklift driver there to inspect it and he says looks all good didn't do any damage to their stuff so it's a very minor incident you're pushing drivers to report minor incidents but didn't make a big deal about a minor incident so I, I already went to my boss and go hey this is a problem we're not gonna be we're not gonna be able to do what we want, so it's it, they're new, they're brand new to Sutco, so uh, we'll have to just have a chat with them and figure it out. Go from there. That's a lot of Pringles you're putting in your mouth in one. How, how many chips was that? Four, five chips in one bite? Three. Okay, fine. So, yeah, I wasn't impressed. Talked to the boss, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, don't worry, we'll take care of that." And, and I have no beef with that person. Seems like a nice person, just a little overzealous. Maybe new on the job too, and you're eager to eager to prove that they didn't hire you, hire you for no reason. So you you want to look like you're you're making changes. I don't know, dude. Uh, it's a little premature to pulling over on the shoulder. But, uh, so it might be just to be a new overzealous employee type of thing. You just want to prove that you, you didn't get hired for no reason. So it's all good. It's all good. I don't complain about Sutko very often. When I have complaints, you guys know about it. What? The small light. Well, that small light in the back will just stay on. Just don't touch it later on, it's going to be burning hot. <laughs> I like a light there, but it's a dumb spot for a light switch. We're approaching... Okay. So I get in trouble every time I pronounce this the bridge name. Pronounce it one way, and everybody tells me to pronounce it a different way, and then I start pronouncing it that way, and then everybody tells me to start pronouncing it the other way. So some people have it's pronounced two ways. I've come to the conclusion it's pronounced two ways. Patello, this is the Patello Bridge, or the Patulo, Patulo, yeah, Patulo Bridge, yes, Patello or Patulo, and. Uh, one of you guys, 
if you're going to say one's right and the other one's not, guess what? They're both right. They're both wrong. My, my favorite way of saying it is a patello. Patello bridge. Getting a brand new patello bridge. I wonder if they're going to rename it to a new bridge or, or not. Will it stay the same? Because they're building a brand new one here. I just smashed my microphone. You just smashed your microphone? Hitting buttons on it, so while you were talking, so. So you're saying all the bangs and knocks that you're hearing on the microphone is Jess's fault? Yeah. Heard that? Whoa, buddy. That's not running a red light at all. Welcome to Vancouver. Well, technically, Greater Vancouver. Where, where are we? What? This is technically, what, Delta or Surrey or I don't know. I can't remember where the lines are. Somebody's going to correct me in the comments. So. And I say sorry, but not sorry. I'm still just going to call it Vancouver. I just don't care. It's all Vancouver. <laughs> True enough. College is greater Vancouver. And if you live here and you're all offended, I'm okay with that. We'll take your offense. I just have that mindset that the little things. Some of them don't. The little nitpicky things? Yeah. yeah. Some of them don't matter, like in the end, really. I don't mind being corrected if I'm saying something wrong. Like Patello, I'm done with that. That's what I'm calling that bridge. If you guys don't like it, that's what I'm calling it. You know, some things like that, I've had that debate, and I say it the new way, and then I get in trouble for saying it the other way. Uh, another one is Cal Calgary. Calgary and Calgary. Calgary, Calgary. I get in trouble for saying it one way or the other way. So both ways are right, both ways are wrong. I guess I could sum it up as we choose what hills we want to die on, and there's a lot of them we choose not to. Like, we're like, okay. Microphones on. I'm like, they probably couldn't hear you. Probably couldn't hear me. Thanks for catching that at least now. Only the first 15 minutes are no audio. We'll see. Good catch. So 
So sorry about the audio. Hopefully, I'm at least somewhat audible. If not, you can just cut out the first 15 minutes. No, I don't want to cut out the first 15 minutes. But if the video just started now, you know the audio was completely garbage. I'm just going to have a bathroom now. What's that? I'm going to have a bathroom to back up to the plan. I'm sure, I'm sure the audio was fine. Well, audio was better than the old, old days. Can't, it can't have been worse than the old days. Now, worst case, I'll put pulling audio right straight off of that camera. The, the ceiling cam. I like this view because you always see the trains. And the yeah, bridge. it's a huge switching yard for trains. Yeah. And then now occasionally you see the, the tight boats, and I love tight boats. So. Okay, Garmin is not taking the right route. <laughs> Excuse me. So we ignore the routing GPS is telling me. Yeah, Jess is a fan of her tongue boats. I am. Yeah. It all came from a book I read as a kid. What can I tell you? North Surrey truck parking. Supposed to be completed like five or six years ago, and they kept changing the sign, and they're still working on it. That sign currently says it'll be completed in spring 2022, so they're, they're a year behind right now for the current sign. Hopefully, they make a huge trucking parking lot. We need hundreds of park, trucking park, truck parking spots. And they should also make it illegal for any uh, four-wheelers to park in there. Period. Yeah. Because what happens is all the locals park their four-wheelers in a truck parking spot to save it for themselves. And then they go bring their truck there, move their car ahead, and then park their, park in their truck in the parking spot, and then they drive home. They're just local drivers that sleep in these truck stops, making them useless for us that drive long distances. And we're all driving in secret or we're parking in secret industrial areas. It's really frustrating. Like if you have a company you're working for locally, they probably have a terminal you can go to. Yeah, but they don't want to uh, commute to work every day. Yeah, but I'm like... But what about us? We, yeah. we have nowhere to park. You have a terminal you could park at. So, we get to cross the Golden Ears Bridge. We don't do that very often. That's a fairly new bridge. A lot of new bridges in Vancouver. They, they, as soon as one new bridge is done, they start working on the next one. When are they going to start working on replacing that uh, old tunnel? I don't know. I haven't kept that, up on the news for that. That's in the works too, I think. Place. You have to 
call them before pulling into the yard. reading on the paper. This is uh, Corn with uh, Sutko. I'm coming by to pick up four skids that are going to uh, the Trail Rona. Um, I'll be there probably in, uh, I'd say around uh, one o'clock. Okay, perfect. me through to somebody else. Hey, hello, this is uh, Juan Masatko. I'm coming by to pick up four skids that are going to trail. I'll be there around uh, 11.50, 12 o'clock, or uh, 1 o'clock. 12.50, 1 o'clock. Yeah, four pallets. Um, which, do you want me to just pull in the front main there or from the top? Okay, I'll, I'll just come in through the front then and then see you guys at approximately 1 o'clock. Thank you. Bye. I get the numbers all screwed up. It's like, uh, hopefully they look at that clock and what you mean. They seem cool about it. They're like, so you're just picking a pallet for our trail location? I'm like, yes. This is what I am doing. And then I remembered I have to turn here somewhere. Because I'm ignoring garments directions. I don't know what the speed limit here is. Oh, there's a speed limit there, 50. A little over the line, but... I didn't want to make it more violent than it was. Okay, so they're expecting me. We often don't have to do any phone calls. Most of the time these things are taken care of ahead of time. I rarely have to call. I just know this location can be a little tricky sometimes. That's still like an hour away. Well, the garment's not taking the right route. Maybe they are. It is now. Oh, now it's taking a different route, it, it just, okay, whatever. I gave him the wrong time. Garmin now says 1245, so. Whatever, I'm okay with it. It's the type of day we're having. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody starts parking it on that road where, where the pipeline is built. It's an effort to make sure that that returns back to nature and not people start using it as a parking spot. 
think it might help it return. Maybe different rodents and birds start to make homes yeah, and yeah. dropping seeds and food and they grow and everything. This is familiar. When I did training with Sutco five years ago, over five years ago, Sutco chip trucks come over here and dump chips over here on the left hand side. It's funny, like I've never been there with you, but I know when you say it, and like I know where we are on a map. Mm. I've looked it up repeatedly on a map. I have an instant Google map in my head of pin marker. So I took that sign out. I guess 60 is not the actual speed limit. It is the speed limit I must follow, but the actual speed limit is significantly faster. I'm hitting the brakes for that one. Lots of things for me to look at. Yeah. I don't think I've ever recorded video down this road before, so hopefully it's all new for you guys. sky popping out here and there but I suspect we're going to be driving through rain and snow on the passes on the way back home. So we had yesterday. Yesterday was really uh, rainy and then 30 seconds of no rain and then rain and then no rain. One little rain snow storm Exit only. Nope, nope, I don't think so. 
we'll stay here for now. Golden Ears Bridge. Statue birds. Yeah. Statues on top. I didn't see them. They're probably eagles. I'm not quite sure. Golden eagles. Golden ears. Yeah. What does that stand for? This is Pit Meadows. Maple Ridge. One the other. That says Maple Ridge, okay. Don't come here very often, so I can't remember the town names. Okay. Having said that, I think we did shoot a video here a month ago or so, coming from the other direction. Yes, I think I want this exit. It's always exciting, it's always fun doing something new, something that you haven't done in a long time or never done before. Yeah, just change it up a bit. I think as humans their brains just like doing that. Is there anything really? We're doing the same thing every day. That's why time passes so fast. Because you're not creating any new memories to remember. If you're getting older and you're saying time is going way too quick, start doing new things. You know, that's my intent. I guess it's easy for me to say I'm, I'm only 45. For some people that's ancient, for some people that's still young. But uh, time is getting too, going by too quick. Start making new memories. That's how you slow time down. So that's what I've been trying to do. I remember these roads get kind of on the narrow side. You mean roads where trucks don't belong? Well, they do belong here, but the roads get Kind of narrow for a 53 footer. You gotta be a bit careful. There's a bobtail back there at Burger King. Let's see that. I 
of their fries. Burger King? Yeah. Yeah, they do have good, the, the crunchy, but very potatoey inside. Like, they do a good job with fries, a very good job. I don't like their chicken and I don't really care for the burgers. I'll eat them if I have to. Yeah, but they do have good fries. No salt though. Way too salty with salt. Still salty without salt. grease they fry them on and in it still has exposed to all the salt and stuff. understand why you ride right next to the white line, but it's also kind of obnoxious from our point of view. There's less debris right next to the white line. Why is there less debris? Because we drive there. red lights again. I don't really feel like it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just chilling. Just chilling? Yeah. Other than giving me a hard time while I'm trying to do the ad read? Well, that was the fun part of it. Oh, I agree. Well, if the audio picked up. So you could be extra eyes? Extra eyes and less distracting to you. The knitting is not distracting to me at all. What well, I guess it could be when when you get grumpy because I'm talking to you and you are counting. I do talk a lot. It, it, it's nice to have an extra um, set of eyes in the city, especially when we're not in the right lane. <laughs> Good luck. You're trying to hide your clearing the throat. Good luck. Ribbit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> give it to you. You can have it back. Hey, Mr. Mike. Now you're right beside me. Thing gets narrow here. That's a you problem. Well, if I was him, I would just be like, I'm on the sidewalk. That is way too narrow. Pretty go. In my blind spot. He's in my blind spot. Oh, that's not cool. So, luckily, I was watching him coming and going. He's, he's way behind us now. I was watching him come in past our blind spots. I knew he was beside us somewhere, but that's a dangerous place for a bicycle to be. Right, right hand side of the big rig. Let alone, it's a dangerous place for a five ton to be, let alone a bike. It's what they had before is a decent sized bike lane. And that was just like, good luck. Legally, they do have the right to be there. You're still just as dead if you uh, hang out on the right hand side of the big rig. 
It's a cool looking church. Oh look, he's got the, the trailer dumper in his dumper. You can see how they take the trailer dumper and slide it into the front dumper. I know it was a couple of years ago, but the first time I saw that was pretty cool. Until then, uh, I was kind of like clueless about how it happened. Yeah. Drop the trailer, slide that dumper, Basically, they go close to where they have to dump. Drop the trailer, go dump the dump truck, and then come back and move the dumper from the trailer onto the dumper and then go dump again. See what I was talking about, narrow lanes? For somebody that doesn't like to shop, I like to look at all the different stores. All right, car beside me. The car has started coming up beside me, and then decided better of it. They're gonna hang out behind me until we're through these narrow lanes. There we go. Now you can come up beside me. Thank you for uh, thinking better of it. Smile, Thai cuisine. It's kind of a cute little sign there. The thing over here, all the Thai and Chinese and Japanese restaurants, they're all run by Thai, Japanese, Chinese people. Korean. It's actually authentic, yeah, yeah Korean food. Yeah. It's actually authentic food. so many immigrants from those locations here, they actually want to make food for that population, so. Well, just like back in Paddington, uh, Indian food is huge. Yep, yep. A lot of that. Which I would love to try, but. Oh, you're not gonna handle those spices. Exactly, I'm allergic to spicy stuff. You know, people say it's mild, it's usually still spicy. That was a no-no. Rushing a pedestrian like that? Yeah, yeah call it bullying. Bullying a pedestrian like that was yeah. not cool, yeah. Just, just wait until the pedestrian's gone. Who cares if they're old and feeble and take a long time? Who cares? Just wait them up. I'm a big fan of pedestrian right of way. Big fan. I know I drive all the time, but I also walk sometimes. And when I walk, I own the road. I take over. And I think that's the way it should be. Pedestrians have the right of way because if something goes wrong, they're the ones that are dead. So let, let them let them get across.
traffic lights, but we haven't had too many red ones. It's been fairly good. There's a lot of new housing coming in. Before they rebuilt this road, we would always take the bypass. Where all the cars are coming in from the right, we used to okay. always take that route. Haney bypass. Now it looks like a lot of people still are taking on. Where we saw, you see that uh, dump truck there? Where we saw the dump truck pull on in front of us? That's where this road comes out. So it looks like all the dump trucks are still taking the, the, the bypass. This is a good. Uh how many dump trucks can you spot? Yeah, there must be a big construction project somewhere. So I'm sure a lot of dump, dumpers and trailers. Some of them have their dumper on the trailer and some of them have the dumper in their box. So. I'm surprised we don't come to this side of uh, the river more often. Yeah. There's a lot of industries on this side that require flatbed loads. sleeping here but it says no parking but looking at it now probably was a fine place to park because people are leaving their trailers they've got trailers for sale on there for crying out loud so <laughs> probably you be fine to sleep in there overnight i have a feeling it's jam-packed at night though probably could be Instructions. So they're all going in there. I'm assuming they're all going in there. No, there's other ones going by. So some are, there's got to be just multiple construction sites. Mm -hmm. 
gravel pits. Yeah, different gravel pits, different construction sites, different different places to dump all your dirt, topsoil coming out of the construction site. Yeah. heavier than I thought it was. Just four lifts of that wrap, but it's heavy. I never even looked at the pressure gauge. I just loaded left. The pressure gauge in here says we're fine, but I didn't even look. Well, that's without the next four skids. Yeah. Well, the next four skids I can put them toward the back if it gets too heavy on the front. He's just got two... Four, no, three sheets of steel. Very thick gauge steel. Plastic corners. <sighs> I think you're in now because it's all over metal, right? Up front and no chains at all up front. I don't think I'd be comfortable driving down the road like that. Legally, I believe. I don't know if you legally have to or not. Have a chain on the front on cheap metal like that? I don't know if it's a legal requirement or not, but I certainly would be putting a chain around the front. whole section it's just city on city on city this side feels more like you got out into the country already even though there's a lot of industry and stuff going on but it's such a different feel on this side of the river than that side if they're gonna widen it kind of take a lot of it away yeah that's always the unfortunate part well, if they're gonna widen this is another secret hiding park parking place that I park at Probably gonna be gone. That's gonna be gone then. So if they're widening it, that parking area will be gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. They can't take over the river, so it has to be on that side. Yep. I guess the destination is still quite far, or 10 kilometers. How many minutes is that? Do I just make my video a little longer? That's about another 8 minutes or so. Let's go overtime. Sure. I don't have 
much control. No on. input? No input. I see sheep. That was that. There are sheep up there, yeah. Some sheep farmers. And their uh, gazebo storage, bale storage, is completely flopped over. They must have had a windstorm take it all down. Whoops. some ducks down there, but where's the rest of the wildlife? Well, I guess a little too close to the big city. Well, it's, you know, winter, but not winter. Where's our moose? I haven't found one in a long time. It's been a while. Yeah, if you ever come to Canada and expect to see moose, you might be very disappointed. Right by the Viking village we got really close to. Yeah. Saw quite a few uh, black bears through Ontario. What you doing? I had a feeling he stopped there. Just turn the signal lights on if you want to pull back on and we'll move over, but. Split your trailer there. Super bees to dump their load. Oh. You have to split your trailer and dump one trailer at a time. That's a lot more time. Small coming. little tipper, so yeah, a lot more time consuming.
Is that swans out there or uh, those white geese, snow geese? I think actual swans require more water. Let's see what size they are. Snow geese. I would say those are snow geese. birds that require water like to land and take off like there's an eagle in the field too eagle yeah bald eagle they're just sitting in the field okay cool yeah and i know you guys can't actually see these things doesn't stop me from talking about them. right now, but once you get the power line poles on the back, then he's a long load. Um, I've talked to him a couple of times. He hauls these super, super long power line poles, the tall ones, mm -hmm. and that's why he had to get the cab over. The only way to get legally pull these along the road without um, escorts, he had to get the cab over and get it as short as possible. Makes sense. To get these poles. So he has to get the longest permit possible without uh, pilot cars. Yeah. Couldn't do it with any rigs except for the cab over. We're gonna pull into the yard here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys like the new road. We'll just let the video play as we pull into the yard. But for now, we are out of here. You guys absolutely rock. Adios. This exit, next exit. Thursday's beef dip, $16.99. So where can we park a big rig? <laughs> Sounds appetizing. yet here in my lane.
correct me. What do you got? I'm deli or picking up. You're picking up? For uh, your location and trail. I called ahead of time, so. Oh, okay. Uh, you're going to probably want our north yard. I asked. He said it didn't matter which way to come in, so. Okay. Uh, just park in the middle bay here. I'll call our shipping department and find out where they need you. Sounds good.